Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a holiday traveling car. So let's get going. Alright, so for this video, I decided to do two types of vehicles. So we'll do one on one side and one on the other side of the paper. Um, you don't have to, you can just do just one. But I just want to show you guys two different versions that you can do. So first of all, you're gonna need a piece of paper and a pencil. And I'm gonna show you guys some examples right here. So over here on this side, we have a couple old school cars that you can see. Um, and they're all facing forward or facing um, the other direction. And they have trees on top and some presents and so on. And sometimes people add, add a background such as snow and trees and a road. So on the other side, there's a couple more examples. Over here, they're just the car. There's no background at all. It's just a simple wash of a certain color. And such as like a sports car, there's a VW bus, a regular car, and some other stuff right here. So let's get going. So I'm gonna do the easiest one first. I'm gonna do a station wagon, which is these two right here. And I'm gonna do it on this section, and then I'm gonna do maybe like a VW bus on this side. All right, so let's start off with the uh, station wagon. And I think I'm gonna do the first part in um, marker. All right, so first step, I wanna go growing up. So I'm gonna do the bumper first. And I wanna leave enough room in the bottom for the wheels. So here is the bumper. Just like so, it doesn't have to be perfect. And if you wanna add a license plate, you can. I'm gonna add a nice rectangular shape right there. And then maybe I wanna do copy what they did. I might just write down the word Merry. Short for Merry Christmas. <laughs> right, there we go. All right, my wheels, I'm gonna do maybe this simple wheels here. Maybe one rectangle shape right there and then another rectangular shape on the other side. Just like so. I think for this one, I'm gonna do a road. So I'm gonna go from this bumper right here and go outwards this direction. And then from this bumper, go outwards this direction. All right, so the road's done, bumper's done, and the wheels are done. All right, next up, I'm gonna go up. This is gonna be the front of the vehicle. Go up a little bit on both sides. I'm gonna curve and connect, just like so. And then before I do the lights, I wanna add a bow in the middle. So I'll maybe add one square right there and then from that top square I'm just gonna add a shape that looks like that a shape that looks like that so it kind of looks like a bug and then from there I'm just gonna curve down and then back around towards that square all right there's the top of the bell now let's add the ribbons on the bottom so I'm gonna go zigzag towards this way and maybe zigzag towards this way all right now let's add the accessories so such as the front of the grill of the car so I'm gonna go behind the bow, make a nice rectangle, doesn't have to be perfect, and then add some horizontal lines going across. And make sure you don't hit the bow at all. All right, there we go. Now let's try to do the lights in the front. Now hopefully you guys left enough room, unlike how I did. So maybe one light here, another light right here, then maybe two small ones in the bottom. So maybe one right here and one right there. Okay, that's all done. Let's go up a little bit higher and let's make where the people sit, where the people would sit. So maybe one round shape like that. So now I'm towards the middle of the page. I'm gonna add the windshield. So you can either make a nice round rectangle. I think that's what I'm gonna do with rounded corners, just like so. And there we are. All right, so next step is to add the fun stuff, such as the gifts and the tree. Uh, there's a couple other ways I've seen people do trees. I think I'm gonna do my own way. So we'll go from there. So I think I wanna do my tree going out the window, like this, and <laughs> heading outside of the car, like that. I think I want to add the branches of the um, tree, maybe in green. I don't know if it's going to look good or not, but um, we'll try. So this might take me a while because there's a lot of branches I want to add. One right here, one right there, and I'm going to keep going back and forth until I can reach the top of the vehicle. So there's going to be a lot of branches in here. All right, so I think that's enough for the inside. All right, let's try to make my way up. So I'm just gonna kinda create lines getting shorter and shorter. And same thing on the other end. There you go. 
and then let's try to add some more twigs and stuff from those parts I just created. There we are. So this might take you a while. And uh, it's not to say that you could just do a simple um, triangle like how these cars did. Um, I'm just trying to make it more pretty and detailed by adding my own types of branches here. Alright, my holiday tree is done. I don't want to add any ornaments or anything at all yet. Alright, I think I'm going to add the gifts next. So let me just take my trusty marker here. Maybe add a box or two. Maybe one box right here with a ribbon on top. Let me just add the ribbon here. Okay, there's one box. Okay, maybe I can add another one back here somewhere. Alright, and I think I'll just stack some more on top. So here's another one. And I think maybe just one or two more presents. So maybe one right here. And maybe one oddly shaped one right here. And this one will have more of an advanced bow. Just like how we did in the front of the vehicle. There we are. Okay, and then last but not least, let's add the background. So here is the end of the snow. And then we could maybe do one or two hills, but before we do the hills, let's add some trees in the background. So maybe one tree right here. There we go, there's one tree. Let's add maybe another tree right here, possibly. My kid's crying. All right, and then probably some hills in the background. So here's maybe one hill. Let's do another hill all the way back there. All right, I think that should do it for this part. All right, so let's add a moon right here in the back. Nice and large. Okay, so this half of the project is done and I'll teach you guys the VW next. So let's get going. All right, and for this next one, uh, we will be doing the VW bus. And it's actually this, a specific car right here, um, right here, right here, and there's another version right here. Um, I'd rather do this one right here. It's a little more advanced. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Um, there it is right there. Point to this one. Uh, but let's try to do uh, an easier one for you guys. So this one looks more uh, more to speed of what um, you guys can do. So first of all, uh, as you can notice, there's no background, so we don't need to do a background for this one. Uh, but we'll start off by drawing the basics of what everything is. So let's get going. All right, as always, as the other one beside it, we will draw the bumper first. So here's the bumper. Nice and skinny. And then we'll do the tires. For this one, let's make the tires a little bit more round. So a little bit like that. And then one exactly the same size on the other end. If you want to draw zigzags, you can to resemble treads. So some on both sides. Looks like so. All right, next up, we're going to be drawing the majority of the bus. It's going to go up this much and then curl back down. There we go. And then let's add the center part, which is where the logo would go. I'm going to put mine right around here. You can put any letter you want. Um, I'm going to put a letter M to copy the one, uh, as you can see on the example here. And I guess I could stand for Mr. Mill, I guess. I don't know. I think we can make it stand for Mary. Like Merry Christmas. There we go. And then there's two uh, headlamps, one right here. Let's make another circle around that. And let's put another headlamp on the other side. Let's put another circle on the inside. There we go. And then two more off to the corners right there. All right, next step, I want to draw the windows. There is two windows on each side. So let me just draw two ones in the middle just so I can figure out where the middle is. That's pretty much the middle right there. All right, let's draw them going outwards. Make sure I curve it the right way. There we are. And the other side. All right. Um, some people draw like the side mirror and stuff. So here is the inside uh, rear view mirror. Um, some people draw the seats. Um, you can if you want. 
I guess I'll just draw. See like that with two stripes. Maybe like a steering wheel on this end. There we go. Steering wheel. Um, let's see, what else can I do? I guess I could do wipers. Maybe one wiper over here. And another wiper over there. And then the signature way of how it looks. I'm just gonna draw a curve going down this direction. Curve a little bit. And curve the opposite way. And there, that's pretty much the signature way it looks. I'm gonna add a side mirror, so maybe do one right here. And another one on the very opposite end. Try to make it as symmetrical as I can. Alright, so there's the generic bus. Um, that's the old school car right there. Uh, now we can just add some accessories. So why don't we add some presents on top? So maybe one that has a lid that looks like this. And then a bow on top. There you go. And then some stripes here and there. To symbolize the package. Maybe you can do an oddly shaped one like this. Like that. That'd be pretty neat. And then we can just layer some boxes on top. Any shape that we want. There we go. Maybe I can add one with ribbon. And the stripes. There we go. Maybe another gift to the side. It's kind of like almost tipping over. There we are. That looked pretty cool. All right. And then last but not least, I think I might want to add a tree somewhere. So let's me add a tree probably right here. So let me just make my little tree tap. And then let's go out. Keep zigzagging back and forth. Go out again. Zigzag. And go out one more time. And there we go. And then if you want, you can kind of add a string of lights here and there. I think that would look pretty neat. And there we go. That is my VW bus. And I think I'm going to color one of them. I haven't decided yet. But um, I think they look pretty good. Uh, tell you what, I don't think I'm going to color them because I think this video is going way too long. So I'll let you guys do it on your own. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.